One game I've been really rooting for has been Splitgate, and they just released their final update. Infinite Battle Pass season. This is the final pass, guys. It's free for everyone to jump in and play. And the reason why I'm making a video about this, because I have made a Splitgate video in the past, but I really wanted to make this one as, from when I've played Splitgate, I really enjoyed it. And I really like the developers of this game as well. They're very much involved with their community. They are very passionate developers. And basically they went from just like a basement project to a full on like almost like AAA experience. If you really want to jump in and experience Splitgate, you better do it now because I don't really see a whole lot of future happening with this game. Earlier this month, the developers of Splitgate released an important announcement for Splitgate's future saying that basically that they're kind of shutting things down for this game in particular saying 1040 games has team has determined that in order to build the game fans deserve and to build it in a way that isn't trying to retrofit and live operate an existing product we're ending feature development for splitgate and basically it sounds like what they cited was here saying that that it's basically just been that they've been trying to rework a lot of content to be able to move forward and it seems like they kind of just like sh hit the restart button and build from the ground back up to be able to produce a game that they really want to feel like they can move forward with saying we're turning our attention away from iterative small updates and going all in to focus on a new game in the split gate universe which will represent revolutionary not evolutionary changes to our game it will be a shooter it will have portals and it will be built on unreal engine 5. oh and it will be free and the fact that split gate has, is free right now and the future game will be free led to its huge success over the summer of 2021. You can see here on Steam charts, now again this is only a fraction of the population but I'm sure a good portion of it do play on PC here especially through Steam that the initial launch had like 11,000 people for like a startup game that was just kind of like a fun portal game. 12,000 concurrent players on day one that's pretty dang good. Now after that it did kind of struggle holding about 200 concurrent players for peak population but during the summer of 2021, they peaked up to 76,000 peak concurrent player base. Now the big reason behind that huge population boost was due to the situation that was going on with Warzone in the Call of Duty community where there was a ton of cheating that was happening that it was just ruining the experience and it seemed like a lot of people ended up kind of migrating over to Splitgate out of all games because it was kind of a bit new, a bit fresh. They recently put out an update around that time as well to catch people's attention and well, People really enjoyed it. In fact, it caught so much attention that they received $100 million in funding that year. And with that funding, the team over at 1047 really expanded, bringing in more developers, trying to create something for Splitgate to become almost like a live service type of game that's free to play with awesome cosmetics, free to play game modes and stuff like that. It was actually chugging along pretty well. They even released Forge before Halo which their Forge mode was rather comparable to what we've had previously in Halo. And there were some great maps created for Splitgate by the community. It had a very vibrant group of people who are still playing the game a lot and just genuinely enjoying it. And for myself, I enjoyed playing this game as well. Like I played on these Forge maps and they are very fun to play. And now they don't look as nice to say it's Halo's Forge maps, but for the most part, it does the job pretty dang well. As stated in their earlier September announcement, about how they're going to kind of end the support for the game because of how much the scale of the game grew so much beyond the, what their initial expectations were probably led them a lot of tech debt to kind of like try to go back and rebuild and recreate a lot of stuff rather than be able to move forward hence why they came up with the infinite battle pass right here for the last seasonal update here and the difference with this battle pass is that every tier is free which is awesome and it never ends after earning the standard 100 tiers, you'll receive an item drop for every five battle pass tiers you complete after that. And it's all free to access premium challenges as well. And even with the drop system that they have in this game, it's kind of like a loot box drop that you get after earning an X amount of experience within the game, that now those uh, drops will then be giving you uh, split coins. And so then you'll be able to earn some more stuff within the battle pass as well. So you're saying this is the last update. They're not gonna be going back and fixing anything unless it's majorly game breaking why bother in and jumping in this essentially dead game well 
it's something really unique that you need to play. And if you don't play it within the next few months, you might not have any opportunities to do so. So let's do it. Now, if you're new to Splitgate, it's really cool. But uh, if you're kind of worried about the whole portal thing, don't worry, they have a playlist directly for you. It's called No Portals. It has all the classic game modes you'd want, just with no portals. So let's jump in and play that one. Like I said, the reason why you want to try to start playing with no portal mode, if you can, is really just because it's a way for you to kind of get used to like the game mechanics of the shooting and the feel and the, how the weapons play in this game before jumping in and using the portals, which honestly is one of my biggest concerns about this game was that like the portals would be like such a game breaking kind of mechanic where you could just like jump in and just like portal around and not have to worry about like, you know, flow of the map or anything like that. But no, the portals in this game are generally very well placed to have logical locations for you to play. And so then you just uh, get double kills like that. The portals are strategically located on the map generally to where you don't have to worry about too much, but like being randomly flanked behind you or anything like that, which is really nice. And it's a little double jump feature you see right there. Help me get a little double kill, which is nice. There's a little bit of like advanced movement kind of thing. You can climb on top of stuff and all that kind of stuff in between. Oh my god, I got completely outstrafed that dude. And also I am playing on Master Keyboard, which Master Keyboard feels pretty good in this game. It's surprisingly, surprisingly good. Much better than it does in Halo Infinite, that's for sure. The battle rifle is an absolute powerhouse in this game. Like there's a battle rifle, there's a one-shot shotgun, you got rockets, you got a DMR like I was trying to be playing around with earlier. Like, that's a lot of Halo sandbox in this game. So if you're a Halo fan and you've been kind of feeling down and out about Halo recently and wanted to maybe like try something else, seriously, give Split Gate a go. You will not feel out of place if you're a Halo player. Except we're playing like a game mode that's called Domination right here. Where you have three hill points you need to capture. I mean, pretty standard stuff. We got this like stronghold similar kind of game mode like in Halo, right? Or Domination in Call of Duty. Same kind of idea, but then in split gate. Now, honestly, playing without portals, though, it doesn't feel, honestly, it doesn't feel as fun as playing just regular portal modes, just because it kind of loses the uniqueness of what split gate has to offer when you don't have the portals in play. Here, we're just playing like regular, just team deathmatch with portals. So you can go like portal over there, the portal over there, and then boom, you're across the map. Like stuff like that, you can kind of pull off on this portal version of the game. Really interesting kind of moves you can make, and I'm just. I'm struggling with shots right now though. Some of the stuff I've seen online, people utilizing portals in this game has been honestly kind of crazy what these what people can pull off. People are much better than me at this game. Oh shit, they got just dodge cover shots right there to get well get ambushed by the people. But you can see like the cool moves you can pull off right there with the portals by just kind of utilizing them to get dodge out of cover like that. And actually one of the things that changed with the recent update that just went live was that uh, your bullets were actually smaller inside as short shooting through portals. Before it was a little too easy shooting through portals and putting damage into people. But now they kind of mix that up a little bit so it's not as easy to land shots. So help balance things out a little bit when it comes to in a portal gunplay. Same thing with also the melees as well. They changed that up a bit with this update. Look at that sneaky play right there. That's exactly what we're talking about using all those portals right there, man. Yeah. But it's not all serious like normie game modes either with Split Gate. You have tons of party games you can play around with as well. They actually have Infection, unlike some other notable shooters out there who created the game mode in the first place. Just saying. They also have SWAT in this game as well for all you SWAT lovers. I know SWAT in Halo Infinite has been a little, uh, well, not the best it could be, we should say that much. But the cool thing about this right here, see like Renee right there? I can cancel portals. Now, I should have thrown that a bit earlier. But you can see that's the cool thing about the grenades in this game. Uh, they don't actually deal damage in here, so you don't have to worry about like grenade spam or anything because you literally can't do that in this game. But what you can do with the grenades is cancel portals, which is super cool. And you can see how the portals in this map are generally strategically placed, so then you're not getting like spammed across the map or just randomly people are popping up behind you. It's more just kind of like horizontal movements for the most part. You don't really see people like coming up behind you randomly, which is my biggest concern with the portals. Mainly you see them kind of utilized from like side to side kind of movements or something like that. Nothing too crazy. All right, we have a fun game out here, laser tag. Okay, let's see how this one plays out. Oh, you're so much faster in this game. <laughs> and your boost is crazy. Oh, like low gravity in there too. Oh, this is gonna be just nutty. Oh, we have big head mode on too. Guess <laughs> why not? Oh, we're on a little bit of streak here. Let's go. There we go. I can't believe I got that kill. 
The Passover repeater in this game, though, is pretty lethal, not gonna lie. Oh, getting shot from behind. Yeah, get right, kid. <laughs> He's a poor lawyer here to kind of sneak up behind them. Oh, shoot. He's right behind me. There we go, baby. Yeah. That's how you use those portals. Oh, nice little double kill. There we go. There we go. Got that kill. <laughs> this is like SWAT with like a plasma rifle. But then you're also moving like twice the speed, jumping twice as high, and your head is twice as big. <laughs> This is a nutty game mode and I like it. Oh, you're coming up behind me like that, buddy? It's not gonna work here. It's not gonna go your way. I'm sorry. Hey, we got the win right there. That was a nice fun game right there. Just some laser tag craziness going on. So if you guys want to play some Splitgate, now is the time to go in, download it. It's free to play. It's a ton of fun. It has all the features you expect to have in a kind of a sci-fi kind of shoot arena shooter game. And if any news about the future Splitgate game comes out, then I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe for some more gaming news and I'll catch you all in the next one.